What's up, great people? What's up? What's up? What's up, great people? Come on in here. Come on in here. Give y'all a few minutes. Come on in here. For this Friday night dump truck session on tonight. Come on in. What's up, Justin? Hey, man, I follow your channel, man. I follow your channel, dude. Let some more come in. Hit the like button as you come in on tonight. Hit the like button. All right, who we got here? Artesian, good to see you, man. Um, wonderful talk with you, or uh, what's that, yesterday? Glad to talk with you, man. What's up, Michael Montoya? Glad to see you on tonight. We just come to chop it up, talking about dump truck business, right? All right, Justin, thanks. I just found yours. I've been watching some of you. Appreciate it, Justin, man. Shoot, I've been watching you. <laughs> Ever since last year, man, when I got first got started, man, uh, I've been checking your channel out, man. Got a great channel. Lots and lots of info, man. I appreciate that. Uh, what's up, Miguel? Glad to see you, man. Brandon Lee. All right. Look out, man. Brandon with Barry A. What's up, man? Good to see you, bro. Yeah, man. Look, Barry A. We put that work on us this week, man. Glad glad to, to get it. You're right. Barry A. Rolling, man. Got to work tomorrow. Got to work Sunday, too. As you come on tonight, hit that like. Hit the subscribe button for us. What's up, Tawan? Yeah, CEO is live, right? Right? So, look, I, I'm going to do my grand interest like I normally do, right? What's up, YouTube? It's the country CEO back in the house again. Man, look, Mo Game. Mo Game. And Mo Game, right? So, look, man. I was excited to uh, catch up with you guys tonight and uh, see what's going on with you guys. Been a great week. Uh, no, Brandon, I didn't go to Jefferson Highway, uh, New Orleans. They got us tomorrow. They got us going to Denham Springs. Denham Springs tomorrow and then Convent uh, Sunday. Denham Springs tomorrow, Convent Sunday. All right. And then Sunday night. All right. And so what's up, Victoria? Good to see you on the channel tonight. Um, and to catch up with you guys, man, and uh, see what's going on with you guys. Uh, did a lot of uh, did several consultations with some of you on this week, uh, and so I'm just excited. I did a poll this week, uh, trying to see how many of you guys are already in the business, and then how many of you are feeling comfortable and ready to step out here in the dump truck business, um, uh, on next year, 2022. All right, as you come in tonight, hit the like button for me. Get the algorithm going. Justin, what, what, I forget, Justin, I don't think I got a chance to see where you're out of, Justin. Well, where are you out of as well? I was trying to, I, I don't think I ever could gather uh, uh, where you was uh, operating out of, where your home is. All right, what's up, Brooke? Glad to see Brooke. Talked to Brooke two weeks ago. Uh, what's up, Jay? Jay, what's happening with you, man? Glad to see you on. Um, and so uh, out of the poll, I was glad to see it looks like over a hundred of you 
um, are making plans that 2022 is going to be uh, your year. Okay, Justin, I'm not the good. Cincinnati, man. About the close I came to Cincinnati was Louisville uh, a few years ago. Came up 65, stayed in Louisville for a week. And I saw that right across the street was Jeffersonville, I believe. But I know Cincinnati. You can see the sign say Cincinnati. Own up the road a little piece. So uh, Louisville is real close to you, man. I, I, I'm glad to know that. Uh, we got several other people that follow the channels out of Ohio, Columbus, Dayton. Uh, got some guys out of Cleveland, too, as well. So, uh, again, I was glad to see that uh, some of you guys um, are very close. Uh, uh, next year, you planning on being that year. So it was I calculated as about 100 of you guys, a little over 100 that plan to get into the business. And so we just, just want to be in an uh, informative place where you can find value at in learning the things all dump trucking. Uh, for those of you that are new, again, I've been doing this 21 years. And so I'm just excited. It excites me. I'm passionate about just helping people. And every time I see some of the new guys and new people coming into the business, it just gets me on fire, right? Because uh, the business is just on fire right now, right? Uh, and so I um, uh, look forward to continuing to help you guys. So y'all talk to me tonight. I come on, first of all, just to uh, share a few things with you, and then we'll dialogue uh, as we go along. So uh, that's one of the things I was happy to see that, that it's going to be over a hundred of you that are making plans that 2022 is going to be when you jump into the business. Uh, I've told most of you guys, even before the infrastructure bill that from what we're seeing, and I'm in Louisiana, most of you know that, that it was percolating fine work is out there. Um, it is great, right? Appreciate you, Justin. I'm, I'm trying, man, trying to just make it plain. Uh, as I can, man, I just got a passion to want to see people win. And, um, um, you know, my story is, is that, you know, it wasn't people out there to help me when I started over 21 years ago. And so I wanted to be different and, and, and give people the information to get started. And so I uh, appreciate that, man, uh, for someone who's been on YouTube a little while and doing the game, dump trucking and stuff like that, man. I definitely uh, appreciate that from the, from the heart, man. So, um uh, do you know how much money your state got in there, Justin? I'm hearing seven billion. Uh, what I'm what the, when I Google and uh, what they're showing on the news is seven billion. So um, uh, I'm real happy about that, man. Um, and and we finally, you know, we got the worst. We are rated as having the worst roads in the state. And so uh, I'm, I'm I, even before the infrastructure bill. Uh, the state had finally made up their mind that with this crumbling infrastructure of roads and bridges, that they better do something just on a state level. So they had begun to do that, man, in the last few years. And even before that bill passed, it, you know, it was just it's booming around here. Right. And so now having seven billion coming in, then a portion of that is guaranteed to go to roads and bridges. They can't spend it on nothing else. I'm tickled to death. Because that lets me know I know how these folks operate around here. They're going to definitely try to knock out some of these major projects that they've been having in the backlogs for years and just didn't have the money to do them. And some of these projects, man, it's going to take four, five, six, seven years to do. And watch this. This is the big one. This is the big one. They uh, have to put a new bridge across the bridge. The uh, Interstate 10, which is a main corridor running east to west between Florida and all the way to California. Well, in Baton Rouge, it's the only place where coming off the bridge, it comes into two lanes. I mean, it's just the craziest thing you ever saw. So in every afternoon, it's a traffic jam across the river, right? Katrina made a whole lot of people move from New Orleans to Baton Rouge. And East Baton Rouge Parish got like almost a half a million people in this metropolitan area now. But what that's done is traffic jams every day. So what they finally figured out is that they got to build a new bridge across the Mississippi River. It's just a matter of where they're going to put it at, right? You, Man, look, you're talking about 10 years plus just to build that bridge, right? You're talking about 10 years plus. The Mississippi is wide in Baton Rouge. It ain't, ain't narrow. <laughs> so just that alone, right? All right, those of you guys that are coming on, hit that like button. Hit that like button for me on tonight. What's up, uh, uh, Papa Ox Fly Fishing, Colorado. Good to see you, man. What's up, Jim Rod? Salute to you, channel member. Appreciate you, man. Good talk with Jim on yesterday as well. Got his truck coming in. Look, Jim, I saw your truck on Atkinson's website, man. I just happened to be strolling, uh, uh Facebook rather, uh, Atkinson's Facebook page, and I saw your truck 
on Atkinson. If you go to Atkinson right now, they posted your truck on their Facebook page. I say, that's his truck right there. So look, channel member, uh, channels, all of you guys on, Jim Rod Martin, channel supporter, is back in trucking. He used to be in trucking years ago. All right, right here locally, not too far from me, probably 30 miles. And so salute to him. Welcome back, Jim. Come get this money. That's right. Let's get that money, right? Uh, k and &R, Big Daddy, welcome back. What's up? <laughs> Boy, you look. What's up, man? All right. What's up with you? All right. Those of you just coming on tonight, hit the uh, hit the like button. I need to, uh, some people told me, I got to hit up some people that ain't on YouTube. They told me to let them know when I was on tonight. Justin says, yeah, we have a bridge supposed to 75 uh, bridge. What four presidents have been down there and talked about it, but nothing, nobody's paid for it. Right. Four presidents. Right. And, and look, and that's what they've done around here for the last 10 years. Talk about it. Well, they finally have done the wetlands study, the, the impact on the local area. You know, they have done all the studies. You know, they got to do a whole bunch of studies before they do what obviously needs to be done. Right. And so it's no doubt about it now that there will be a um, a new bridge coming across Baton Rouge somewhere around LSU. I don't know, somewhere around Baton Rouge. But I just know whenever they do that, that's 10 years, man. It's going to take 10 years or more just to build that thing. And then the impact of everything that has to happen around that bridge, that's more work. So a lot of people don't know that it's not just the bridge, but the work that has to take place in your bridge approaches and, and tie-ins and exits off the bridges and exits going on the bridge. Oh, my God. Work, 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 right? And so I'm just excited about that. And so even before this infrastructure bill passed, the it, you know the you know we projecting our ten years of work easily for our metropolitan area. And when I say metropolitan, here is parishes, but for you guys, it's county. That's easily in the six parish area, six to seven parish area. We project out, but now since the infrastructure money is coming, uh, and see the thing I love about it. Because sometimes these politicians spend the money where they wanted it. Well, when you get the federal money, you got to spend it. It's earmarked for several things. They can't spend it on what they want to spend it on. So that money going to have to go to roads and bridges, a portion of it, right? So that makes me feel good about how things are going to look, okay? All right. Um, all right. Appreciate you, Jim. Sean Barnes, what's up? <laughs> From Virginia, what's up, Sean Barnes? Miguel, your videos inspired me to make a career change. Thank you. Would you talk a little on retirement as an owner operator? Great. I will. All right. Um, our other experience and possibilities. Well, I think what you have to do uh, for uh, being uh, in self-employed, and this kind of goes for any self-employed business, you're going to have to look at IRAs. Uh, Roth, Roth IRA, I found to be pretty good. Uh, definitely, you ought to look at stock market, uh, investing in that. Uh, that's something that I've done. Uh, and then you got annuities. You can look into that. Right. So obviously being self-employed, you're going to have to uh, go and provide your own retirement setup. And basically, you know, instead of someone else uh, doing it for you, you're the one that's making sure that you're putting money into that. But definitely a Roth IRA is a good thing to uh, to do. All right. And so uh, uh, you say uh, you're making a career change. So look, man. Uh, my advice to you, grind, have a great work ethic, go to work, pay your dues. You may not start at the top of the totem pole, but I'm telling you about attrition and other crazy stuff that be happening out here. You, If you just grind and be consistent with your work, don't mind working. Uh, and here's what I tell people all the time. In dump truck business, it doesn't always come in the form of Monday through Friday. Did y'all get that? All right. Justin knows this. It comes sometimes at night. Sometimes the week might not start till Wednesday and then go to Sunday. Sometimes you work straight through, like we're working this week straight on through. We we working all the way to the Thursday before Christmas, right? And so you have to have the mindset that you got to get it while it's there. And you have to have drivers if you got multiple trucks to have the mindset, get it while it's there. Tomorrow's not promised, you know? So take care every day. And if that work is there to get it, you got to get it. And what I found that happens is happened for me, and I've seen it happen for other guys, that consistent work ethic and that mindset of get it while it's there ends up opening doors for you. And, I, and I'm old school. I was raised by old folks, man. And I just believe if you work hard, good things go happen. All right. So, Miguel, uh, that that that's what I can tell you. I know to be true, man. Uh, Justin says better get some more trucks on the order because of those who are hard. Yes, Justin. That's been the problem here. Um 
Um, most of the channel members, I tell you, I um, ordered, I ordered a brand new one uh, October, and I think it's supposed to get here first quarter next year. That's about all the salesman can tell me. March, April, that's what he said. That's right. It's a quad so brand new Mac. And so what I'm going to do, Justin, I'm glad you, you brought that up. And this may apply to somebody else in the chat is, is that when that one comes in in March, I'm going to turn around and go ahead and order another one right then. I, with the hopes is, is that it's going to probably take a year the way this thing's shaping up. I'll get it at that same time the following year. Right. That's my plan. Right. Once this one gets in, hey, go ahead and put me another one on order. And I already know it's going to probably be a year before I get it. But you're definitely right about that. Those of you in the chat, Justin just gave some good game. If you plan on ordering a new truck, you need to be making that order now with the mindset that if you order it now, it's going to probably be the middle of the year. Or in some places, you know, it just depends on your dealership and uh, what kind of connection they got with the factory. You might not get it. I hear some people ain't going to get nothing until November of next year. All right. All right. So look, let's catch up on the likes. Let's catch up on your likes tonight. Uh, got 23 of you on. So hit that like button for the CEO on tonight. All right. Who else we got here? Justin says, uh, Artesian rather says, yes, got to order more trucks. Yes. Get it while the getting is good. <laughs> yes. All right. Artesian. Uh, out of uh, Arizona, I talked to him on yesterday, or either that was Wednesday, I think it was yesterday, and I did like two or three consultations yesterday, so I'll try to remember you guys. I know I talked to Jim, I think that I talked to uh, our teaching yesterday as well. Just getting started in uh, Arizona with a brand new unit. Uh, matter of fact, our teaching, I got to post that, man. I'll post it tonight after we get off. Uh, salute to you, brother, for getting started in the dump truck business out there in um, the suburbs of Phoenix, Arizona, Mesa, Phoenix area. God bless you, man. Wish nothing but prosperity on you and your business. All right. Yeah. Look, Justin, I look, man, look, Justin, if you search the channel, I got I call it the double dip. Right. Uh, we rolling them at day and we roll them at night. I got my day shift, my day shift guys. So as they get out, me and one of the other guys are getting in for the night shift. I love the night shift, too. It's slow. It's cool. No traffic, Harley. Just got to be careful, you you know, depending on the situation, nature of where you're at. Got to look out for them drunk drivers. That's why, my, you know, the folks I'm working with, Brandon Lee, works for the company as well, who I work for. I love the fact that they work Sunday through Thursday night, right? They don't work Friday, Saturdays because it's high, you know, folks, you know, uh, you know, like to do other stuff on Friday, Saturday night and uh, make, does make good decisions. So uh, I love that night shift. And then whenever there's that light night shift, Justin down here in South Louisiana, we call that land yap, right? Because I've taught that we base our budget and make it in the dump truck business off Monday through Friday. So if you get a weekend or you got night work, guess what? That's land yap. That's that extra money. That's that play around money. That's that put that money up money, right? Because you, your budget should be off money. Friday can take care of you. If you're making the kind of money you should be making, it can take care of you, okay? So, man, that's good. Y'all got me feeling good tonight, all right? Brandon Lee and... Um, Brandon says, have a good attitude. That's right. Yeah, you got to have a got to have a good attitude. Right. All right. Because you're going to need to get along with folks out here. All right. Justin said, I have five on order for next year. Cool. Because I'm also so afraid that the Fed is going to raise the interest rate. And that's not good. Yeah, Justin, that's what I saw the other day as I was looking at CNBC that uh, I think uh, there's it's pretty much I think it's going to happen uh, from what I've observed and what the comments we we're making on CNBC that the interest rate is definitely going to go up. So I feel you on that, brother. All right. And so, Justin, I'm glad. So glad you're on tonight. And so they, everybody else can see uh, uh, the, the the level of operation that you're operating with. Justin has several trucks. And so Justin is telling us he's got he got five on order. So he sees that, OK, let me get ahead of this thing because we don't know what's going to be the outcome. It's so much uncertainty. And I was telling somebody today that the word is, is that it's going to take 2023, 24, just to catch up the shortages. Once they start getting these semiconductors in back on schedule as they should, it's going to still be, it's going to take it two or three years just for the supply to catch up with the demand. Right. All right. Cause uh, so, so Justin, that's a good move that man. All right. Uh, Yesterday, I'm teaching. Yeah, Mario Crumpler, what's up with you, man? Highly considering buy a dump truck next on operator. Okay, cool. Appreciate you, Mario. Mario, where you out of, man? Tell us where you're from. Uh, tell us where you're from tonight, man. Uh, or usually run about eight trucks at night. Okay, cool, man. Look, that's good. Uh, so, uh, Justin, tell us a little bit. What kind of um, what kind of um, 
work y'all got going on uh, at night up there. And Justin, what kind of work do you kind of specialize in? I advocate very highly road work, road building. That's what it brought me through for 21 years. It's going to work you the most consistency. And then you get to do every aspect of the job, the dirt, the limestone, the tearing out, the milling, the asphalt, the dirt on side the road or the milling that's got to go on side of the shoulder, whatever. But I advocate highly dirt uh, road building, get it with your asphalt and road building companies, because they are the ones that you're going to make the money consistently over time. All right. Just like we just got a little shower here tonight. Guess what? That ain't stopping nothing tomorrow. We're going to be right out there tomorrow. Right. Guess what? It's got 70, 80 percent rain here tomorrow evening, about four o'clock. We're going to make the day tomorrow. It's going to rain tomorrow evening. But guess what? Because we're doing asphalt. We're going to be ready, able to go out Sunday morning and work. And I say that because I know a lot of guys are concerned about the rain, the rain, the rain. I got some videos coming up talking about the weather. And, you know, but in some ways that how you you uh, weatherproof your business, if you will. In other words, how you make it through in spite of the weather. OK. All right. All right, Justin. So, Justin, that's how many you running all together. Eight trucks. All right. Jim says I sent Jennifer an email. I haven't heard anything back from her yet. OK. OK. Yeah, she'll, she'll respond. And I tell you what, Jim, Jim, I'm going to inbox you the number to her direct line when I get off. I'll inbox you her direct number. And then you could call and leave a message. She'll, she should be back in the office Monday. But I'll inbox you her number, too. They, uh, they take care of all the bills, night shifts, all the private. Yeah. Justin, do, I mean, everybody, look at what Justin says. See, you say, do I need I say it anymore? Day shift will totally take care of your business. Night shift is laying yet. All right. Look at what Justin is saying. Day shift takes care of the business. Night shift is that extra. That's your profit. That's that's where you 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 see up. Justin, I want you to share something with us, Justin. Uh, how do you handle your profit? Do you pull your profits down monthly, quarterly, periodically? Uh, I just want to kind of show the folks on how um, when is a good time. And I think I'm going to do a video on that. When is a good time that you should pull down those profits from the business and uh, and, and begin to build, you know, that that personal wealth? All right. So Justin's running 14. All right, man. Shoot, Justin, you do it pretty good, man. 14. That's a lot. And I see it on some of your videos, man. You got your own shop uh, uh, and you do a lot of your uh, do you do your own maintenance, Justin? Or you got a guy that's on staff or payroll that does your maintenance in house? Or how do you do your maintenance? I am glad, Justin, God sent you to this channel tonight because it gives everybody else the opportunity to be able to see somebody that's operating it on a scale with 14 trucks, man. I appreciate you getting on tonight. You know, look, Justin, coming to a little channel like mine, right? And uh and 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 lending your expertise, man. Justin, how long you been in business too? How long you been doing it up in Cincinnati, man? All right. What's up, Nick Monaco country? I'm new to the channel. Came from Justin. Oh, cool. I appreciate that. Nick, man, following Justin over here. Look, to a little small country boy channel located in South Louisiana, the boot state, the bayou, the you know, the, the state where the big ease is at, Cajun country, the bayou bingles, the home of the LSU fighting tigers. You know what I mean? Man, I'm so happy, man. You 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 follow Justin over here. All right, buy tires. Yeah, Justin, I did not, I've done that, Justin. I bought tires. I definitely been hard to get. I, I just made a video a couple of weeks ago telling everybody, load up on your death, load up on your oil and, and air filters, man, because I've been having a problem getting death. I literally had to rain check death at the tractor supply store just to assure me getting some. I went three trips, three weeks in a row uh, to get death and all the death gone. I had, I'm buying it from AutoZone for twelve, thirteen dollars a box. When Tractor Supply got it for eight or nine, so finally I had to rain check some to get some. But I'm finna get it in bulk, and we're gonna solve that problem. I'm gonna get me a tote. All right, Mario is out of Columbus. That's cool. Mario, you in Columbus? Justin's in Cincinnati. Okay. Do you only asphalt type stuff? But I work for a company to do like infrastructure type projects, so all highway and road. Yes, Justin, that's all we do. That's, that's all we do. Highway construction, road building. That's, that's all I do, man. Every day. And I found over the years, that's what's going to that consistency of road building. I, and it's just something about it, man, to all of you guys, something about road building. It just does something to me, man. You know, it gives me goosebumps and I get excited about it to see something 
you know, a brand new role, especially if they build in a role to see something come from nothing to something uh, just just excites me or to go in and tear something up and do it over, you know, rehabilitation. It just does something for me, man. So, yeah, road building. Uh, that's what I like. Road infrastructure, road building, bridges, all that kind of stuff. You know, and, and you know, if nothing's going on, yeah, I'll get on dirt jobs or whatever uh, and stuff like that. And um, if I need be. <laughs> And so uh, 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 that pays the bills too. But for most uh, most of the time, it's going to be road building. Okay, I got you, Justin. Okay, I see what you're saying. You say you got 14, but you only run you run eight at night. All right, 14 in a day, eight at night. Man, that is awesome. That is totally awesome. All right, got you, Jim. I'm gonna take care. Yeah, pay myself weekly, and then I take like month of draws. Okay, cool, cool. That, that's, that's that's what I do, Justin. I'm. Look, I must be doing something right, right? I pay myself weekly, and then monthly, we draw some profit now. That is awesome. See, y'all, right? See, y'all. Look, if y'all didn't believe what I've been telling y'all, we got another uh, uh, longtime dump truck on here uh, talking the same thing. I appreciate that, man. All right, y'all, those of you coming in, hit the like button. Hit the uh, subscribe, well, the like button. I'm sorry, hit the like button for us on tonight. All right, any of you desire to be channel member uh, as well, we're going to put that in the chat. Some of you may want to join the channel as a channel member. I put that in the chat for you as well. Uh, support this channel. Those of you who support the channel, you see Jim. Look out, Ethan, GFLLC Holland. Appreciate you chiming in tonight. Ethan out of uh, Virginia. And uh, appreciate you, man. Salute to you, channel supporter. Been with me a while now. Appreciate that, man. All right, yeah, I have a guy that does my main, and he's on payroll. Yeah, that's cool. Man, look, 14 trucks, you got to you gotta have somebody that's in-house doing that, man. All right, Justin, was it hard finding a mechanic that would only stick with you? I'll let you answer that while I move to a few more. Ron, 899, what's up, CEO, coming from Port Allen? Well, look out, man. Ron C, 899, right there across the river in Port Allen, Louisiana. Appreciate you chiming in, man. Justin, seven years. Justin, seven years, man. That's good. Built 14 trucks, doing it on that level in seven years, man. God has truly blessed your business, and I pray God much more uh, uh, prosperity as well, man. I see you like them ATVs too, man. All right. Isaiah Spencer, what's up with you, man? Appreciate you. Mario got class A, never drove a dump truck before. It won't be nothing to it, Mario. If you can drive a truck, you can drive a dump truck. You just need to learn how to try to how to operate the controls. That that'll be your only challenge, and it ain't nothing to it, brother. Just like anything else, repetition, practice makes perfect. All right, Ethan, you are the man. Appreciate you, man. Thanks as always from Borden, Virginia. My local Napa had Blue Brand on sale, five dollars a gallon. How y'all always? Oh, five dollars a gallon. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting. Um, where am I getting? I got this the traveler brand from Tractor Supply Store for I'm getting that for eight. They gave it to me for eight fifty. Cause I ordered twenty boxes, two and a half gallon jugs. They gave it to me for eight fifty. So you know we usually get it from Walmart for seven eight eight a gallon, but you can't get it from there anymore. So I just think I'm gonna go the bulk way, get it in bulk, cause you know we were running day and night. We're gonna use it, you know. All right, where's Justin located? Justin is in Cincinnati. Uh, Jim, he's in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes, it's been hard to find one that doesn't have as everything, and that is pretty good. I've been through three of them to find. Okay, good. What I was about to say, man, to find a mechanic that'll stay with you, shoot. That's the that's the look. I look, I got two or three guys I have to deal with because if I can't get this one, I got to go to the next one, right? Uh, to get the job done. What's up, chocolate noopy? Ever seen guys get work with a pickup truck and dump trailer? Uh, sure, Justin. Um, uh, uh, you say you say dump trailer, so I'm assuming you're talking about trash. The kind that can haul trash, um, uh, move people. People be looking for people to move them. So definitely with trash, moving people, pallets, you know, it's just thinking about the fact of what, what is a need that people have and using your truck and trailer to make money with it. Definitely there's things, there's a market out there for that. I mean, I've never seen where well, we had a hurricane here. Isaac was Ida not too long ago. So I've been seeing a lot of trash trucks with trash trailers lately. So, so yeah, for sure. All right, you should buy any you know, fifty gallon. Gallon. Yeah, fifty five gallon and have it delivered to you where your trucks are. Out. Just pump it out. It's a lot cheaper. True, Justin. Only problem is, is what I'm gonna do with that dog on fifty five gallon. I got to find out where I'm gonna dispose 
of those 55, if it was plastic, that would work for me. But the, one of the companies I check with, he want they want to send it to me in a uh, uh, the metal container. And so I'm thinking, OK, I'm going to start accumulating these metal containers. Where, what I'm going to do with those after I start accumulating a whole bunch of because I did find a company that will deliver it for me. And uh, but it, it, well, but then again, I did find out, Justin, they will keep on coming refill. So that might work. They keep on coming and refill it for me. So so that's that that thing that's gonna end up being the way that I'm gonna have to go. All right. Let me back up. I miss chocolate over here. Yeah, okay. All right, Victoria responding to him. All right, Ethan, Justin, I have been considering 55 gallon and pump. Yeah, and you could get the pump, Justin, probably at Har uh, Harbor Freight, I'm sure. Huh? Harbor Freight should have those pumps for that. Nick is, I mean, Nick is in Connecticut. It's impossible to find a shop up here. Huh? They're a hundred years old and cost over a million dollars. Uh, when I buy my first truck, I'm going to pay another company to park my truck on their lot. All right. Um, and I'm assuming Nick, you're talking about a place like a shop and place to set up your truck is what you're saying, right? You said, cause you can say you're going to pay another company to park your truck on your lot. And that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that at all. If you got one truck, but if you start accumulating trucks, then you're going to have to figure out how you're going to handle that. All right. All right. Ethan, cool. 300 gallon told that my fuel company comes and fills up every, I think two weeks and it's dollar seven a gallon delivered. Wow. You can't beat that. Um, my, my fellow guy here in town who has four trucks for Western star. That's what he just did the other day. Uh, Justin, uh, guys, he went to go pick up that tote with a regular tandem axle trailer. Couldn't handle it. He had to take it back off the trailer and get his head to do the trailer. So if you go get that, that 300 gallon tote, you better have something that can handle that. Matter of fact, he could even have anything. He thought he could get it off with a tractor. Couldn't even get it off the trailer. He just parked the trailer where he parked his trucks at and let the guy just start uh, using it like that, man. So I don't think the 300 going to work for me. I think them 55 gallons probably is going to be sufficient for me. I'm going to get a little carpenter to build me uh, a wood platform and, and set it up on those platforms. And that way the drivers can just pull up to it and take their pump and, uh, and fill it up. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, Ron C. Thanks to you. I am ready to buy a first truck first of the year. Everything else I said. Oh my God, appreciate you, man. Ron C. All right, appreciate you, man. Got a lot of y'all coming in now. Hit the like button. Hit that like button so we can get that algorithm going tonight. Man, look, Ron, I appreciate that, man. Look, just try to get a game up, man. Glad to see you start. Definitely send us a picture of that truck so we can post it in the uh community tab. If you get it from now, it'll be in a plastic container. I don't know if Harbor Freight would have that type of poem. You need a stainless steel one or it'll burn up real fast. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Might have to go online and uh, find that one. I tell you what, Nick, if, uh, Justin, if uh, uh, you know where we can find that at, definitely let me know because that's my next move. I got to go with the with the 55s. I'm tired of, tired of running all over the place trying to tote um, pack boxes of death on the back of my pickup truck. All right. Yes. A place to park the truck and do service in Maine. OK. A million dollars, man. Look, property value that that high up in uh, Connecticut. <laughs> Shoot a million dollars for an old building. Good grief. All right. That must be where all the millionaires live up in Connecticut. Huh? Not buy more trucks. I'll finance a garage. Cool. That's a good idea. You got the right mindset, Nick. You know, when you buy more trucks, you're talking about getting you a garage. That's the right mindset, man. You need a place to be able to do all of that. What's up, Jack Peak? Out of Dallas, he hails from Dallas, Georgia. Jack Pete, one of my channel members, appreciate you, Jack, coming in on us tonight. All right, it'll save you, yeah, it'll save you a lot of money. Um, uh, I found, I think, when my, my friend bought the other day when he factored in, I think he's going to end up be getting it for like 250 a gallon. And man, look at the money saving. Because these, like I say, individual boxes here are eight, nine dollars a box. So that's why I say it's a no-brainer. You know, if you're running trucks like that, it's a no-brainer, you know. All right. Even if you got one truck, it might be, I think it's worth looking at. Because if you got one truck and you got a 55-gallon drum of death, look how long that lasts. Man, that lasts you a long time. The tank don't hold, at least my tanks don't hold, but 12, 12 gallons. So you figure 12 gallons, you know. All right. What's up to one says working on a job with a company where there have to be a contract written up between you and your company and the company. It just depends on uh, to one. Uh, not in all cases. 
Uh, sometimes you'll be you'll work be working by contract, but a lot of the work that's out here is is by word of mouth, just by verbal uh, agreement. Hey, I got this work. Do you want to come work? Yes, I come work. You, I'm paying you to work. You know, uh, but there are I have worked on the contract before through on some state jobs, so I've done it both ways. But um, um, you know, you get with a road building company unless they're bidding and using you uh, to meet some kind of DBE or SBE goal. You basically just working on word of mouth, you know, so it's, it's not all contracted uh, like that. What's up, Ty Bourne? Another channel member. Glad to see you on tonight, man. Like that little emoji. Glad to see you, Ty Bourne. Like I ain't seen you in a while, man. What's up with you? Tell us how you've been doing. All right, country, is it possible to learn how to drive a dump truck on the fly on my own? Or should I drive for another company first? I drive a tandem box truck right now. I deliver liquor <laughs> and wine. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, it's going to be relative to how quickly you catch on. Um, if you can drive a dump truck for someone for a couple months, that would be a good thing. That that can never hurt. It is doable if you're that kind of guy. Because I know people, I, I mean, that have went and got in a dump truck and basically taught themselves, you know. So I'm not going to say it can't happen. It really is relative to the kind of person you are. You know, some people need more hands on. Some people can pick up things just like that. But I will say this. It definitely can't hurt you to go drive a dump truck for 90 days for somebody, get some training. And uh, and uh, that can it definitely won't hurt. All right. Jaron Dow, what's up with you? Do you W2 your drivers at 1099? I W2 mine, uh, Jaron. I W2 mine. Justin, I have never had a contract. There you go. <laughs> All right, uh, Justin, answer that for us too. Justin, do you W-2 or 1099 your drivers? Um, handshake deals is all you're working on in trucking. That's it, man. Majority, what you're going to do is just, hey, can you work? This is what we got. Yes, I can work. This is what I'm going to pay you. I'm going to pay you on a certain day. They pay you. It's all good. All right. And that's the norm. Jim says, Nick, I learned how to drive a truck in a field along a railway. <laughs> now, that will work, Jim. If he's got a truck, somebody let him get in a dump truck out in a pasture, as we say here in the country, a pasture. That is ideal. That way you can't hit nothing, bump into nothing, tear nothing up. You can sit out in that field and just learn. All right. Jay says, Justin, what asphalt for coming to do you work with? Okay. Jim went from a bobtail to an 18-speed low bar. All right. Cool. Yeah. Low boy. Yeah, you got to know what you're doing fooling with a low boy. Ty, been good. Just grinding. No work lost in the winter for me, that's for sure. No work lost in the winter for me, that's for sure. Ty, fill us in a little bit more now. Are you saying that there's no work to do? And remind me where you're, you must be on the East Coast, right? So uh, let's chat about that a little bit, Ty. Uh, where are you at? And are you saying that the winters came in and you don't have you're not doing anything because of that or what? Let me let me know what you're saying. Mo Jazzin, what's up with you, bud? Mo, Mo Jazzin, Mo Jazzin, Mo Jazzin. Good evening to your brother. My daughter monitoring this evening at her place. All right, I got you. I got you. Glad to have her on. Appreciate that. All right. Um, Justin said the two biggest companies in the city is who I work for. Cool. That's what I'm talking about, man. Look, got to get in with the road building companies and these asphalt companies. That's and that's where the money is at. That's where you're gonna have longevity. That's where you're gonna have success. And um, and um, Justin, one of the things I've done on this channel is uh, try to teach everybody about how to find the jobs on the uh, state level, the county level, and the city level. I noticed you said that the two biggest companies in the city. So Justin, do you do most of your work with the on the city level, the state level, or county, or a combination of the, of the three? Uh, for me, I do a combination of the three, right? Whoever the company got to work with, whether it's a state, city, or county job, it don't matter. You know, let's work, right? And um, the company I'm with, uh, uh, Brandon, who's on the channel, he works for that company. Uh, they picked up three more jobs at last month's state bid letting, right? All right. And so um, I see they're in line to and see this is this guy. This is what I practice. The things that I've taught on this channel is what I still practice. I went on the state website just the other day and they're bidding on some more jobs. Some of them right around here, the company I'm working for. Right. And so if they don't do nothing but win one or two of those. Look at the longevity of how they're steadily just winning more and more and more jobs. Right. 
All right, those of you just coming on, got some new ones. Wholesalepreneur, what's up with you, man? Uh, uh, you got to, Michael, is that you? You got to tell us how, how you how you made it this week, man. But I I still practice these principles, y'all, after 21 years, and they work. It helps you to give you the heads up about what's going on. Good evening to you. Nick wants to know, Justin, why you run eight at night instead of four, all 14? All right, that's a good question. Drivers are hard to get. <laughs> Man, look, I'm glad to know that just ain't a lose out of thing, right? I'm glad to know that just ain't a lose out of thing. Just to say, drivers are hard to get. That is the truth. Man, look, if you can find you some good, good, just a handful of good ones to stick with you, that is a wonderful thing. The fact that you got 14 and you running all 14 during the day is a blessing in itself. All right. Uh, who else we got? Uh, it's going to be state, city, and county. There you go. All right. Uh, combination that's good victoria a lot of channel members are tuned in tonight i would join soon appreciate you victoria we love to have you sweetheart matter of fact um i am done my little pitch tonight dog those of you who want to uh join the channel as a channel member um let me put that in the chat on tonight this is the link that you can hit and join the channel then i always put my email if any of you guys got some questions or anything you can hit me up on the grind and shine uh email and if anybody wants to support the channel tonight with a super stick or super chat you can do that all right that's my little pitch you know how to tell y'all that once or twice on live stream right i i, I cannot deny y'all the opportunity to bless the channel if y'all want to bless right i, I can't just can't deny y'all because i know y'all so much want to do it right so i would it would behoove me to at least allow y'all to do it right oh my god look at dedrick man look uh uh, Dedrick, man, what you doing out here? Dedrick is has uh, done some work for me, and now he works for his uncle, which is also my pastor. And uh, look at him, top of that day, preacher. Dedrick, you'd have made that old day. He drives a, a, a nice Western star here locally, doing good work. Good young man. Uh, I, I, I'm so proud of him. How he's coming out here in the dump truck business and and doing that old deal. Work night and day. Look, we were just talking about drivers, Dedrick, and how they are hard to come by. And I'm proud to say that you're a young man that I admire you, right? And your work ethic as a young man because you just don't see that every day for a guy your age. So, look, I salute you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Good things going to happen for you, bro. I promise you that, man. All right. Look, those of you coming on, hit the like button for the CEO. 43 on y'all are on now. Go ahead and hit that like button for me tonight. Let's get that algorithm working. Uh, on tonight. Let me stroll back up because I done missed some of y'all. That dog on Mo Jazzin. That's my man. Now, Mo Jazzin. All right. Uh, all right. So, Victoria is in the chat, sweetheart, if you like that. That's where I stopped at. But you threw me off, Victoria. As some private work that usually pays the best. Yes, exactly. When you get those private deals, you because you ain't got to go, you can kind of set your price and they want you bad. They'll pay it too. Ty says, in Washington State, most winners are slow for work, but we aren't slowing down compared to others. Okay, good. I was hoping that's what you were saying, right? And so, Ty, in Washington State, tell me, or tell us, rather, what normally slows you down, and then tell us why, on this particular year, it ain't going to slow down like it normally does. All right? I'm just interested to hear what's happening out there. All right, who else we got here? Uh, I've gotten uh i've got my first paycheck today look at look at look at M michael wholesalepreneur get he got his first paycheck today y'all man say look i'm excited my first week went well i worked with a local broker down here in south florida salute to you man look what did you do this week tell us the kind of work that you did this week what kind of hauling did you do down in south florida tell us what city you're in is that fort lauderdale i think you told me it's fort lauderdale or um uh Miami remind me again where you at down there wholesale but tell us uh what kind of work you did this week man got his first check today y'all give him a salute look I got an emoji around here man let me salute you man I got to salute you man got his first pay per check today Justin you see that that's got to be a great thing when you went out there and then you get that very first check from being uh an owner operator in the dump truck business man that's got to be exciting. Let me find out an emoji. I got to salute you, man. Look, I think this is a good one. I'm going to salute you with this one, man. 
I think that, that I think that's efficient right there. All right. All right. Coming back to the chat now. All right. Gina, what's up, Gina? Hello. Heard a lot about your channel from my day. OK, Gina. OK, yeah. Uh, Mo Jasmine said that you were monitoring tonight. Look, is Gina possibly thinking about driving a truck, uh, a dump truck, getting her own truck? Enlighten us tonight, Gina. We we just want enlightening minds want to know. All right. Who else I got here? Ty and Washington most went. Okay, we did that. All right, Jack. Uh, a new EV company. Okay, is coming. A new EV. Where is that at? Okay, I lost you. Uh, a new EV company as electric vehicle is coming to Rutledge, Georgia. Five billion dollars being invested. Oh my god. Uh, what's the name of them, Jack? You know the name of them? Probably going to use dumps for dirt and parking lot and road around it. Yeah. Look, if a new EV company is building, Jack, is it a dealership or I'm assuming you're talking about manufacture the EVs, right? I'm assuming you're talking about manufacturing the EVs. Okay. Answer that for me. I got something to say on that. Justin says, in the last two years, I went through 70 of them. Justin, drivers? Come on, Justin. <laughs> oh, my God. Justin, you talk about 70 drivers? My God. 70, Justin, tell me you talking about 70 drivers. My God. All right, I'm trying to get back where I was. All right, man. Well, if you got 14 trucks and if you go through five drivers, uh-oh. If you go through five drivers for each truck, yeah, that's 70 right there. Wow. Justin, Justin, how do you handle that, man? Look, me, let me say this. In 21 years, I scaled up after three years and went to a second truck. It was my cousin. And we had a long talk. And we grew up together, so I trusted him. But we still had to have a long talk. Um, so I had no problem. Went to three trucks. It was the brother-in-law. Um, brother-in-law moved on. Another local guy that I went to school with. Um, and I rolled like that, man, five, six, seven years, man. And, um, Victoria, welcome to the channel. I'm coming back to you, sweetheart. I'm coming back. Um, Justin, I probably went for 13, 14 years without any driver issues easily. I'm talking about no driver issues. If a guy was going to leave or had to go, or I had to let a guy go. It was nothing by word of mouth. I had a list of guys that was waiting to work, uh, waiting to work for me. I had inquired with me and I could get them. And so but there was a, a time around that 14, uh, 15 year old mark. I went through several rotten eggs. I'm just all up and say, I got a couple of bad ones, man. Look, those of you coming on, hit the like. Let's catch the likes up here on tonight, if you would. I went through a, a season of some bad ones, man. And uh, I tell you, man, when I, and here's what I mean when I say bad, wouldn't go to work, tearing my equipment up. It was just bad. Pay them on Friday. Joker might not show up on Monday. I had to change payroll one time. I'd I like to get my, my my guys their money during the week, you know, on a Thursday, because you might not catch the bank on a third on a on a on a Friday. So let me give you your money on a Thursday, right? Shoot, had to cut that out, Justin. Shoot, Joker wouldn't show up that Friday. Could, couldn't do that. I had to pay a Joker on a Friday evening, man, just to make sure Joker work all week. So I I went through a season of bad, you know, went through a couple of bad ones. Thanks be unto God, I got some good ones now again. So it can get rough with that driver situation. But 70, but you have 14 trucks, so I can see that. All right. A lot more of you coming on. Look, later it get everybody comes on. Look, hit that like button. Some of y'all peeking in. Don't just peek in, stay in. This is good information. This game right here tonight. We got uh uh Justin Sturgill trucking. He also has a YouTube channel. So definitely go. And follow Justin Sturgill Trucking on YouTube if you're not already. Justin is definitely a guy out here doing uh, major things 
Cincinnati, Ohio, running 14 trucks. So I salute Justin again for how he's doing it up there. So definitely him uh, in, in his channel. Dedrick, top of the day. Okay, I got you, Dedrick. All right, so Victoria, I salute you now, sweetheart, for being a channel member. Victoria out of uh, Dallas or Arlington. I know I talked to you when I was out in Arlington. So appreciate you following the channel, uh, supporting the channel in that way. It's going to be good. It's going to be better. I got a great uh, 2020 lined up for you guys. I'm excited about it. So glad to have you on board. Appreciate you. Look, from the bottom of my heart. Nick says, how do you guys handle drivers tearing up the trucks and how do you prevent? <laughs> I just talked about that, right? Uh, I want Justin to answer that too. But for me, if you tear up my equipment, I'm going to have a talk with you that first time because maybe it was just something that happened. But when I figure out that second time that you 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 damaging my equipment and costing me money, you got to go. The, the, that's non-negotiable, Nick, because if the truck is an asset, the asset makes money. You can't allow anyone to tear up the asset that's making you money. So, yeah, I allow anybody to make a mistake. OK, but once I figure out you tearing stuff up. And watch this, Nick. It's not always intentional. Some of these guys are just reckless bad drivers, right? So sometimes it's not the fact that a guy's dogging your truck out. I've been out there and I've seen guys dogging guys' trucks out. I'm telling you, I've seen guys doing it and just don't give a dog on about the truck. But I've also seen some guys that just are hard on truck. I had a guy like that. He wasn't trying to tear my truck up. He was just hard on a dog on truck. You know, just hard on a truck. And, and and I just couldn't have that, man. Look, I appreciate what you done done, but I, you know I'm gonna have to let you go, man. It just ain't working out. You you costing me more. You costing me money every week, you know. And I just had to let him go. D Landry, what's up with you, man? D Landry, another channel member in the house, boy. All my channel members showing up tonight, man. I'm glad to see y'all, man. I picked a good Friday night. Look, football, high school football season is over, and then college football. Uh, uh, bowl season about to start, but I don't know if anybody's playing tomorrow. If you if you're in a bowl playing tomorrow, then you know I don't know how your season went, <laughs> right? Tawan, what's the, what's the max per hour for a triaxle in your state? Tawan, are you telling that asking Justin that, or are you asking me that? For me, uh, Justin, um, you say the max. Uh, there are some guys here, Justin, in pockets getting a hundred dollars out, no doubt. There's some guys here getting a hundred dollars out. It just depends on who you're working for, where you're working at. All right. It, it, it's uh, it's um, yeah, yeah, hundred dollars out. That's where it's headed because, uh, and I'm gonna ask Justin is he dealing with this up in Cincinnati? What's happening here is a lot of uh demand, which is the work, but no supply, which is the truck. And the old law of supply and demand. If you got the demand, but there ain't no supply, that makes the price go up. Remember the video I just made, Nick? You might have to go back and check it out. The video I just made, other companies are trying to steal us. That what, literally other companies are calling us, trying to get us to leave the company we're with and come work for them. And they're offering $95 an hour. But you got fools rush in. You don't just jump because somebody's paying more money. Sometimes it's good. Okay, let me just hang out and see. All right, and I don't know how true it is, but the rumor is that the company I'm working for next year understands and realizes they're going to probably have to give us some more money. In case y'all don't know, in my state, we're getting 85. Justin, Justin, what are triaxles? Not, not, um, not quads because Justin runs quads. Well, Justin, we ain't ask you that. First of all, Justin, what do triaxles get in Cincinnati? What do quad axles get in Cincinnati? What do quin axles get in Cincinnati? And if anybody got super dumps in Cincinnati, what do they get? What's the going rate, right? Louisiana is 85 for tries. And like I say, there's some guys getting 100, depending on where you're at. But I'm just giving you the average. 85 for tries, 90 for quads, 95 for quints. Super dumps, whatever, hundred dollars hour, just like trailers. Trailers in dumps are getting uh, hundred dollars hour. All right, so let's chop it up on that. 
Nathaniel, what's up? Mo game. Yes, sir. Mo game <laughs> at Mo game. What's up with you, Nate? Glad to see you on tonight. Okay, let me back up. Justin asked 65 if you were lucky. Uh, is that the rate you're telling him, Justin? I'm a little lost. Oh, the money. Yeah, okay, okay. So you said, what's the max per hour for a triax in your state? So, Justin, y'all getting 65 in Cincinnati? Is that what you're saying? Hold on. Yeah, just say you, you get your first bill before you get the first check. Yeah. All right, let me stroll up. I know I'm behind you. I love them, Western Star. I've ordered five more of them. Uh, state, the technology is definitely great. And the Detroit transmission is really awesome. You can do a lot of cool things with it. So, Justin, yeah, that's what my, my pastor runs for, Western Stars. And he swear by them, man. He swear by them. And I, I told him, I said, man, I, I'm going to have to try one. I told him, I'm going to definitely have to try uh, one of those Western Stars, man. He got me definitely sold on him. He got him. The first one or two he got, Justin, he had to work out a few little bugs. He was going back and forth to the shop. That dev system was giving him trouble. But the last four or five he's bought, he had no problem, man. That Western started doing the job. I like the sleek look that they got. I've always been a Mac guy. But I will buy another brand now. I ain't just uh, got to have a Mac. I will buy another brand. Because I tell him, Justin, it's all about the specs, man. You, you know, if you, you get what you like. But it's all about the specs. As long as the specs right, that can do the job, right? All right. I mean, West Palm Beach. Okay, thank you, Michael. West Palm Beach, all right. All right. Uh, I hauled field, and I also hauled base rock. I will pay by the yard and pay by the ton. All right. That's what Michael did uh, this week. Okay, I'm way behind. Man, let me catch up. Y'all Y'all talking tonight, man. Let me catch up. Shoot, I didn't know I was that far behind. All right, let me catch up. We'll catch up right quick, y'all. This is good stuff tonight, man. The Lord send Justin our way to give some good dialogue tonight. All right, Rivian. Okay, I think they on the stock market, Jack. I think I seen Rivian on the stock market, man. You're going to make me go to Robin Hood right quick. All right, Jim Rod to one in Louisiana. Some companies paying 85 and off tries. Okay. Uh, it's a picture, Dan. I'm going to go on here. I think I've seen Rivian on the stock market, Jack. Manufacture the EVs and the batteries. Okay, that's good. They're gonna do it all. They're gonna do everything in house. D. Landry, are you doing some review on them and how is the fuel? Uh, Western Stars. Uh, Western Stars on the fuel. Uh, great, as far as I know, D. Landry. No problem with that. Well, the way that I look at it, it is that a drive is no different than a wrench or tires, anything like that. It's just a tool to drive the truck around. And you can't have any emotional attachment to it. Yes, it's an asset. You can't, can't have any emotional attachment to asset. It's designed to make money. And when it's not doing that or somebody's tearing it up, you got to do something about that. Ty says, muddy jobs, snow, ice, mainly just bad weather. Slow everything down. My company got in with building retainer walls. And now I have been hauling number three man rocks, about 25 rocks per load. Sounds good to me, Ty. Look, if it make dollars, it makes sense. Johnny Blade, what's up with you tonight, man? Welcome to the channel. Just got your CDA learners permit. Class A, ready for some road test training. All right. Hope you got that lined up. And uh, that's going to pay dividends for you, Johnny. Go ahead on and get that CDA, man. Anastasius, welcome to the channel. Look, another channel member. Appreciate you tonight. You done popped in here on us. Yeah, you in here. You in here. Glad to see you tonight, channel supporter. Jack, those really and trucks look pretty cool. Tesla, about 12% of them about a week ago. I think we're about 30%. All right. Okay. Shoot, man. Y'all got me want to look Rivian up. I think they're on the stock market, man. R-I-V-I. -I. Yeah, they're on the stock market, Jack. Rivian Automotive. Stock market price was $97.70. Went down by $11 today. Where's Rutledge, Georgia at, Jack, from Atlanta? Where's Rutledge from Atlanta? All right, uh, let me catch up. Got quad motors on per wheel. Like I said, you don't like, they're going to tear up the stuff. It's my job to fix it. Still is the meaning to the end. You can't get attached. Exactly. Jackson State plays tomorrow. Yes, sir. Championship in Atlanta. Like that. Exactly. South Carolina State and Jackson State in Atlanta for the Celebration Bowl tomorrow. All right. Atlanta is going to be on and popping tomorrow. Nick, when are the truckers going to come together and demand more money per hour? Part of few food houses are asking up and not going down nick that's the problem you can't get them together that's the problem if you can get them to come together and on one accord 
then you can get the price up, right? That's what it's going to take, right? But when you got guys lowballing the price or, you know, let me just, let me tell you something about people, man, I've learned. They with you when you're discussing it in the parking lot. But when you got to go in that office and talk to them people face to face, you're going to find out who really with you. Everybody can't face people head on when it comes to handling hard things like that, right? But that's what it would take some coming together. All right. I'm looking at what Justin says. I'm at, but where we're approaching that hundred dollar mark, we should be over that. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Exactly. All right. Nobody run rise in Cincinnati. Yeah. So 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 yeah. So Justin, what is it? Quad axles and higher. Yeah. That's what I've been told that the Midwest, um, uh, is quads and quints. Right. That's what a guy in Arkansas told me. If, if I'm looking to buy one of them, look up in the Midwest. That's where they're at. So, Justin, y'all running quads and higher. I saw I saw your Western Star when I was looking at your channel the other day, the Brown Western Star. That's a Quinn Axel, I think, right? Michael Montoya, I got to hear it out, but I appreciate you sharing the game. I'll watch the remaining video tomorrow. Appreciate you, Michael, coming on tonight, man. All right. I don't know. Okay. Justin, quads. Okay, so quads, 75 to 88, and then six axles. That's a super dump about 85 to 100. Okay. The new thing in Cincinnati is a lot of these private contractors like single axle dump trucks, like for doing parking lots and stuff like that. That's kind of where it's going. Now, when you say single axle, you mean the little small single axle, what, five, six yard, uh, eight yard uh, dump truck? Is that what you're talking about, Justin, when you say single axle? Because that's what it means here. All right, D. Landry, Justin, are you getting into the dirt business now? Yeah, I've been hauling dirt all last year. There's a lot of private dirt work going on in Cincinnati, so I jumped in on it early in the year. All right, Anastasia, appreciate you. Mario, how much should I spend on my first truck? Got a 100K budget. That's a good start. That's a good start budget if you got 100K, Mario. That's a good start. That'll get you a solid truck. That's a get you a solid truck. Or if you got 100K, I don't know if you're saying you got 100K, if you got 100K as in cash money, then you could put a good down payment on a new one. That's what I would do. But if you don't want to, if your budget total is 100K, then yeah, you can get a good truck for that, man. And also the company that I work for, they do a lot of asphalt work, so they needed me for that too. Cool. Petro, what's up, Petro Gonzalez? What is a good body brand? I need something strong and light. Well, you know, we, Petro, we run Ox, we run Logan. Down here is Ox and Logan. Let me just say that. Uh, we, you know, we we may have one or two guys that run aluminum beds, but we don't run aluminum here because you got to be able to do everything. And if you're dealing with road building, you're going to deal with some heavy duty stuff. So uh, it's going to either be Ox or Logan here um, wearing, you know, focusing on a light tear weight really ain't important here, you know, because 98 percent of what you're going to do here is going to be about hour. Right. So we don't really have to. We, we don't you know, it used to be like that when I first got in. You won't get, you know, that light tear weight. But, Doc, it's all about having a heavy duty, strong truck. So these steel beds that Ox and Logan are doing now with the high lift gates, man, look, with the weight of that bed and stuff. I mean, you're going to you're going to be close to 30,000 pounds empty, man. So so, you know, if you if you're looking for something real light, uh, aluminum is your lightest. But you're gonna have you're gonna run into this thing of where how durable if is it if it's if it's light, if that makes sense, right? So be careful with that. Just depends on what you're doing though. Every market is different, right? If you know you ain't gonna be getting into no heavy duty stuff like broke up concrete, broke up asphalt, or uh, big rip wrap, stuff like that, then hey, you know, you might go with that with that choice. 65 to 70,000 on your first dump truck, you're gonna need 30,000 to run for 30 days so don't spend all your money and you're going to need insurance yeah all right 65 to 7 thousand on your first dump truck okay all right that's for that 100k right okay all right good advice there all right jack 45 minutes east of i-20 okay so it's in the area calvin gal what's up with your man calvin asks is it better to start a dump trucking business in california texas based on emissions law in california i can relocate if needed hey man it's just all about 
the market in that particular area, man, look, if California got that work, matter of fact, I know I've talked to some people in California and say they paying, they paying the uh, quads out there $125 an hour. So it's definitely money to be made out there. I think you just have to look at your market. Uh, I know Dallas, Fort Worth area is booming right now. I was just out there in Arlington uh, uh, first week of November. So it just depends. I mean, Arlington, Dallas area is is on fire. So it's, I think it's, I mean, really it's all about pick your preference, I think. All right, in Connecticut, we can only run triaxes. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick, so y'all can only run tries in Connecticut. Uh, is that because of a bridge law, Nick? Because... Uh, I know uh, Georgia is like that too, right? Georgia, you can only run tandem uh, dumps and tandem trailers. Tech time. What's up with you, man? Is it okay? 56K on insurance for one truck. <laughs> uh, got one year and eight months of experience. Any comment? 56K. Law. Have mercy. Dude, so you're telling me they want to charge you Four thousand dollars a month, basically forty five hundred, about forty five hundred a month. That's ridiculous. You got a year and eight months experience. I understand that. Is that progressive tech time? That can't be progressive, huh? Because I know some a guy just got a progressive quote uh, the other day for fourteen hundred a month. So who, who's giving you that kind of quote? That's ridiculous. Yes, it'll be like a smaller truck, real small problem hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a single axle here, then Justin. Yeah, so that they're they're actually getting to be popular. And so Justin here in Louisiana, the single axle, mostly residential work, because you know folks don't want you in their yard with these big trucks. We got triaxles, quads, right? Because we gonna break up the concrete if your if your driveway is four inches. Uh, I mean two. We we probably gonna break it if it's four inches. We is a chance we may break it if we get off the edge. I can tell you that. So what we see is is that residential with limestone, dirt, river silt, gravel, uh, topsoil, uh, uh, landscaping jobs. That's mostly what single axles are used for here. So there is a market for it. The body depends on what part of the country you're in. Okay. Take time. I'm confused about insurance price to start. What should be the range? All right. Take time. I hope we're helping you with that. High lift gates are amazing. Yeah, Ty, they take, look, Ty lift gates save all the wear and tear on that gate, man. I remember a time we used to have to, uh, you end up getting a gap in that gate or that gate start falling on you, the wear and tear at the top. And we used to have to end up getting coal raw welded onto the inside of your gate to stop the wear and tear. One thing I will say, and I know Justin will testify to this as well, road building, I noticed my gate, I don't have gaps in my gates once I committed back to road building several years ago. Well, early on when I used to have to haul all that different heavy duty stuff, I used to end up with gaps in my gate, right? Uh, but I don't have that problem anymore like I used to. Yeah, high lift gate, definitely. It was 125 an hour, seven gallons of diesel fuel price, no way. <laughs> there you go. These are you prior. Yeah, I'm assuming you're talking about California, how uh, uh Justin. Wholesale Texas always got the work, hands down. All <laughs> right. Take time. Oh my god, take time. Progressive gave you that kind of work? man. Check around with that. Man, no, indeed. Check, check around, doc. And, and it's crazy because. You can call one progressive agent and they'll give you that kind of quote. And then you could call another one and they can make sense. I don't understand that when progressive is the same company. But I literally know people who can call progressive, get one quote through an agent and then call another agent, get another quote, which leads me to suspect that these agents are hiking these prices and trying to put money in their pocket for themselves. Something's going on with that, man. You're right, Anastasia. You got to run 26 hours a day. You're right. State law, they don't pay extra for having more than three hours. They don't want us hauling that much weight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Nick. That's it, man. Y'all, y'all similar to Georgia. And what well, Georgia don't want tandem. You can't run triaxes in Georgia. So man, Ethan, we do a lot of residential and people get surprised when my quad calls. Yeah, man. You put that big old truck in their yard, man. Look, yeah, that 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 is a shocker when you bring that big old truck. 
Aggressive is outrageous. Clean driving record, 32,000. Yeah. So see what I'm saying? You get different prices, man. It just depends on the agent. So tech time, definitely call around, man. Call around. I definitely wouldn't go with no 56,000. All right. Yeah, well, he say he got a he been driving a year and eight months experience. Yeah, so how's your driving record? Take time. Your driving record clear. Yeah, road bills not hard, Jim. That's what happened to me. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Jim. I was in consultation with Jim yesterday, and Jim was telling me about that insurance quote. But shoot, Jim is at well, I think Jim told me fourteen hundred dollars a month, and Jim was hollering about man fourteen hundred. I was like, shoot, dude, you you don't realize a lot of these guys pay way more than that. You got it to 1400 a month. So, uh, yeah, I got a quote from Gressa through my local insurance company. 19000 includes my trailer for equipment. Look at that, y'all. Two trucks, 19000 a year, I'm assuming, huh, Ethan? One agent gave me a quote for 24 Another agent gave me a quote for 18 That's what I'm saying. It's got to be these agents, y'all. It's got to be these agents. My insurance agent is a savage. He played zero. He played zero games. <laughs> okay. There you go. Both through progressive, my insurance is like 92 grand. Yeah, 14 trucks. But that's for 14 trucks and 2 million umbrellas. So look at that. You're paying 92,000 a year for 14 trucks. They want to quote this guy 56,000 for one truck, man. Come on. How much of a tax write off do you get on insurance? You write all of it off, right? That's an expense of the business, Anastasia. So you write all that off. All right, Tech Time say yes, he's clean. So Tech Time, go to you another agent. That's all. <laughs> Find you another agent to get a get a quote through. Jaron has got two trucks paying one thousand a month. Now, Jaron, is that is that late model trucks or is that older trucks? Is that late model truck or is that older older trucks, uh, Jerry? All right. All right, Justin. The day after you start your business, the first thing you want to find is a savage account that knows all. Yes. Yes. I amen that, Justin. You've got to have an account. I just gave a guy, a recommended guy. The other day to my account, you got to have an account uh, that that uh, writes that stuff off. Um, just, matter of fact, Justin, I'll ask you this question: Do you, uh, as an LLC, are you do you, you filing as an LLC? Um, I mean, are you an LLC that files as a C or a S or something like that, or are you just file as an LLC and your account does the rest? Uh, just help us with that. Uh, but definitely you need a, uh, I like that word, uh, just to say savage it means she bad, right? He, or he's bad, right? Uh, but yeah, you got to have in your account that gives you all of the cuts, all of the breaks, all of the write-offs. I don't know if you got, a lot of you guys don't know it, but if you're going to be buying breakfast and lunch out there, keep the receipts. You can write off your breakfast and lunch for your taxes. A lot of people don't know that. You spending money out there on the road every day, that's writable. Put that stuff in a shoebox. Say that, that lunch receipt or that, that, um, that business receipt, or if you're having uh, dinner, you can sometimes write that off. This is a business dinner, you know? It's a lot of different ways you can write off. All right, let me go back up. I lost you guys. All right. All right, so Jaren's so older trucks. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Shoot, you paid $1,000 a month, I was about to say, for two, because I got two trucks. I'm paying 3000 a month, so I was about to say. All right. But yeah, that's that's still good, though, Jaron. Isaiah, definitely get multiple calls just to keep. Yes. Keep those agents honest. Yes. And it's going on where you cannot have any trucks older than seven years. OK. All right. So they won't even insure nothing over seven years. Now, that's a new thing I haven't heard. Justin. All right. People around here just run trucks with farm tags if they can get the insurance or afford it. DOT can't touch farm use. Um. And it's hard on people to make a living. So, just, so Ethan, that's interesting. So they're running on the road, everyday business, but they're running it with a farm tag. Is that what you're saying? Wow. And so, Ethan, with the farm tag, how does that affect the insurance? We're going to get some game right here for sure now. Ethan, with them running a farm tag, how does that affect 
the insurance and 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 that kind of protection that they seem to have with that. What's up, Shark? Glad you chimed in on tonight. Soon appreciate you. Appreciate you, man. Jay, one newer truck, eight hundred a month with Progressive. Cool. That's real good. Eight hundred a month. You can't beat that. No, I am an escort. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, Justin, yeah. Thank you, Justin. See, I'm an LLC, but I file as an escort uh, for tax purposes. So you know what I'm talking about. So I, I look. I got. I got. Look, Justin. I got me a savage too, man. She bad, and that's what she and she switched it, man. The crazy part about it, I didn't even tell her to do it. She did it on her own, right? Because for years, I was just filing as LLC. But, man, that, that, that girl changed that thing and started filing that thing as an S-Corp doc. And, man, look, I get all of the write-offs. She maxes me out to the best she could, man. And I appreciate it, too. Man, I'm thinking I would do something special for her this year. All right. Appreciate that, man. All right. Let me go back. Anytime you travel to a different state, stop by a truck dealership, pick up a business card. You went to look at a truck. That's all right. Off. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh, yes, I'm with what they call a premium carrier, and that's part of the rules, as you can't have any trucks older than seven years. All right. Uh, shoot, Justin, look. Are they Do they write nationwide? Um do they write nationwide policies? Uh, uh, you know, sure, that might be something I been, might be interested in, man. Let me know. Um, yeah, if you shoot, if you don't want to put that publicly, DM me, man. And uh, I'm on uh, Instagram. Well, that's right. Let me get y'all my Instagram and my um, yeah, I don't know if you want to put that out there, uh, Justin, but if not me but if not if you don't mind yeah i'd like to check into that if they, if they you know what are the qualifications to be able to get with them i would i might be interested in that myself man i actually renew in february so you know that would be hitting me just right man look at, so that's what i'm talking about that's what the channel's supposed to do networking y'all that's what the channel's supposed to do All right, y'all can hit me up on Instagram. And then if some of y'all are still with Facebook, same thing. All right, Facebook, send me a friend request. I definitely will accept it. All right, let me stroll up. I know some of y'all done answered now. CEO, who can I contact in the daily to get solid information on the dump truck business? Um. Anastasia, okay, I see you. All right, so while I was out there, um, uh, shoot, uh, Reynolds was a nice asphalt outfit that I uh, saw when I was out there, and I saw two or three more Anastasias. Go back and look at my video. It's in November. Matter of fact, I, did, I went live uh, in November. That first week of November, I went live while I was in Arlington. And I talked about that, man. And you'll be able to get some of those companies, man. I can't. I know Reynolds was one, but man, there were several companies I looked at in auto. It was so much work going on, man. It was mind blowing in that area. It happens all the time. No insurance. Whoa, whoa, even. So you telling me they ain't got no insurance? They running a form tag and they ain't running no insurance at all? I thought you were like. They got a farm tag, so they're getting a special kind of insurance. So you telling me they running a farm tag, but they ain't got no insurance, but the DOT can't fool with them because they got a farm tag? Am I understanding that correctly? All right. Jim says agricultural tag. My buddy in Port Adam runs one. So so how does that work, though, y'all? My only problem is going to be what if something happened? Because, you, you know, you will legitimately running these trucks on the road. So what if something happens, though? A woman account too. She is a total savage. All right, Justin, for sure. Wholesale, when you buy a dump truck, does the 2290 has to be filled out? Yes, it does. Do you have to pay the IRS within 30 days? Yes, that's the rule. After the truck purchase, does this even apply to dump trucks or the semi? Yes, that applies to dump trucks wholesale. Once you get that truck, you got 30 days to do that. Is 30 or 60? You got 30 or 60 days to do that 2290. Yes, sir. I have no idea. My guy takes care of all that stuff. He got us, but he's an insurance agent that specializes in dump trucks. Well, shucks, Justin. 
I like to contact him, man, if that's all right. If he's taking new people, let me put it that way. I know sometimes uh, if he writes out of town, Justin, and he don't, he takes new people, man, uh, drop me his info. I definitely would be interested. If you want to DM it to me, that's fine. Or if you don't mind putting it in the chat, you just let me know. I'm always looking for ways to save money, man, for sure. All right, so Justin, I'm sure Justin, if you, so Justin, you're in Cincinnati, so you're probably running what, Kentucky and Indiana, huh? You're probably running Kentucky and Indiana. But even if you're local, Justin, you uh, B tag, which is a local tag, we had to pay that $22.92. The federal government wants your money. Uh, Jim, he was just simply saying that he runs with a premium carrier and that you got to, you can't have trucks seven years or older with the carrier that he uses. That's what he was saying. What's up in the house tonight? Check a company name, check a company name. Do a lot of paving work. Okay, Vin, yeah, Vin, okay. Anastasius, Vin D is from the Dallas area. And he's telling you, he just dropped, he just dropped some, some word on you right there. A company called Tisco does a lot of paving work in that Dallas area. Thank you, uh, Vin D, for dropping that on us. Ethan, I mean, they buy a farm use tag from track supply, not through DOT. Oh, Lord, Justin. <laughs> oh, my God. So, in other words, Ethan, they ain't got no insurance. That's what you saying. They out here illegal, barefooting, as we call it. They ain't got nothing. Oh, Lord. Sadly, that's happening, man. That is happening. And see, let me tell y'all something. When y'all can discover some people out here running dirty like that, because man, look, get away from me if you ain't got no insurance. Cause just my, you know, I don't want you hitting my truck, right? But you know how you can know it? Look at a Joker's tag on his truck. And every year when you renew, you get that little sticker you got to stick on your license plate. If a Joker sticker is expired over the course of several years, he might not have no insurance on that truck. Get away from me because if you hit me, I want to be insured. <laughs> All right. So look, those of you new coming on tonight, hit the like button, hit the like, hit the like, hit the like. All right. Um, older trucks aren't the way to go when you're looking for drivers. That's true. I agree. They don't care that the trucks make the same amount of money. They want to be comfortable. They do. They do. And then a lot of times, Jerry, too, they're not as gentle. See, you got an older truck. Man, you need to put a driver in there or you get in there so you can baby that truck. You know how that truck needs to be taken care of. Older guy, these if these guys are rough on the truck, they'll tell, they'll trail an older truck up quick, too. All right. Kendrick Camel, what's up? Good evening to Kendrick Camel. Glad to have you tonight. Justin, it's 60 days to do 200 nights. That's what I thought. You have had any vehicle that carries over 56,000 pounds. There you go. What's the 2290? That's just a form, Jim. Uh, okay, Justin looked like he got you, but that's the heavy highway use tax. In order to drive on the road, the federal government says for a track, so you got to pay them $364. <laughs> and you got to do that once a year. And, Jim, they fixed it, so you got to pay that $364. You can't renew your tag. So Sam says, give me my money. <laughs> All right. All right, I will ask him if he takes people out. Yeah, just ask him, Justin, to see if he does, man. And uh, you can DM me too. Yes, to legally drive in Indiana, Kentucky, you have to have a portion tax, right? And I used to do a portion in Mississippi, right? Because the town I live in, I'm only 12 miles from the state line of Mississippi. And we used to go to Vicksburg, Mississippi to offload barges off the river. So, yeah, we used to run a portion. I don't run them anymore, but I used to run a portion tag. Yeah, Anastasia, yeah, everybody wants your money. Vin D to my, we play you guys on Sunday. What are you talking about? Vin, you talking to me? I know you can't be no New York Giant fan. Please tell me you ain't no doggone Giant fan. We go, we finna smoke y'all Sunday too. Them Redskins to my, we want Dallas. We want Dallas. Nah, y'all ain't want Dallas. So I hope the Giants ain't saying that. We ready to smoke y'all too. Y'all just don't let the refs beat us up in New York. All right, there was a guy running around with no insurance and I called pickup and he was working for and said something they sent in. <laughs> right. Justin, you said, look, we don't need none of that foolish stuff. This joke ain't got no insurance, right? Man, look, let me make y'all really laugh. We got jokers here be fabricating insurance certificates, right, and sending them to the company. That's how crucial it, it had got at one time. I don't know if they're doing it now. 
but I do know some guys was, was fabricating insurance certificates. I had a guy back several years ago did it to me, man. Joker made up, got a girl to make up the certificate on that acorn for acorn form that you know the companies want the certificate on and send it to me, man. Stuff wasn't no good, man. And uh, and there was some jokers illegally making certificates for you for $500, man. Joker do anything, and, and they just don't understand what if something happens, man. You're gonna be in a world of trouble. All right, got some new people coming on. Hit that like button. G719, what's up, man? Glad to have you on the channel tonight. A1 Taylor, what's up, man? Trucking, we look, we just chopping it up tonight, man, on a Friday night about this dump truck business, man. All right. Mo Jazz, if you him say on the CB, the DOT is out, I might just go home. I don't feel good. Good indicator noise. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or something wrong with that truck. I just look, just, man, that used to be so funny. Mo Jazz and man, them guys know their trucks wasn't right or could pad no DOT inspection, man. Look. When them joker fired out them DOTs out of there, they'd be telling the dispatcher on the radio, I got to go in or something wrong with their truck. Man, that used to be the funniest thing, man. Them guy would literally go in instead in order to avoid a DOT. But I no doubt I would bet the insurance as well. What's good mileage for a used truck? Kendrick Calma, it just depends. What I've tried to advocate is that 50,000 miles a year on a truck is normal wear and tear. All right, so multiply 50,000 miles a year times how old the truck is, and that ought to give you an average of what that truck ought to have on it. If it has more high, high, high mileage than that, then it's been, a, you know, it's worked a lot, right? But the cool, those could be highway miles, all right? So so that's that's the formula I kind of use. All right, oh, okay, VND is a New York Giant fan. Lord help him. We coming to smoke, y'all, VND. Y'all don't want that smoke. Y'all don't want that smoke. And my quarterback just can get back into the form of them first three st- three games. Uh, in the words of who that is, Daffy Duck, it's finna be trouble. Not trouble. It's finna be trouble if my quarterback, Dak Prescott, can get his act together. All right, Shark, I tell you my class A, all right, going to start with a red mix coming for six to eight months before I purchase my truck. Shark, that sounds good, man. That was my that was my avenue into trucking. I drove a red mix truck for three years, brother, before I bought my first truck. So that is an excellent avenue. Driving that ready mix is going to give you the feel of driving a truck that's top heavy, driving a straight truck, driving a truck with spring suspension, making them wide turns in a truck. It's going to give it to you, man. You're going to come into the dump truck business well equipped. Some people are pretty stupid. They want to risk their whole livelihood over a couple hundred. But yeah, man, it doesn't make any sense to be out here with no insurance like that. Ain't no way I'd do that, man. My uncle does heavy duty towing around here when a tractor trailer crashes on the highway. Middle of the night, he comes to save them. One out of five times, he gets burned because they have fake insurance. Wow. With tractor trailers. That's ridiculous, man. Friend G7 says plates is going to cost him five grand. He didn't get them yet. It's been one year. Yet. Get them yet. It's been one year for a tandem. And I'm assuming G719, he's switching over what to a uh from what a portion to getting a regular tag and he needs to pay the taxes is that's why it's costing him five grand all right anastasia yeah if you have an accident with no insurance you going to jail <laughs> yeah man look because man you done damaged somebody else's equipment and they got to put it on their insurance just get their stuff fixed because you ain't got no insurance it's ridiculous man shoot no one look d lander i could answer that ain't no way he got 14 trucks and still driving just too much to do. It's too much to do. I catch. I, I'm. I'm. Well, I will drop a bomb on y'all that it's getting to the point now. Almost with these trucks running day and night, that I'm. I'm almost to a point that I'm not able to to keep getting on a truck like that. So I, I know he ain't on the truck with no 14 trucks unless he just loved to drive. All right. Um. Uh, at some point, when you get so many trucks, you had to become the face. Okay. That's game. That's game right there. Thank you, Justin. Look at what Justin says. At some point, when you get so many trucks, you have to become the face of the company, go out and do stuff to find more to keep your trucks busy, all right? And then you got to be able to shake hands and kiss babies, right? You got to go to the job, talk to the contractor, make sure everything's going all right, make sure he's happy, you know, bring him, bring him some donuts to the office, right? Or some deer meat. We're in South Louisiana, Justin, so we, we deal with deer meat. Look, and let me tell you something. If you ain't never had it, Justin, the rest of y'all, see some good old deer meat 
and they take it and mix it with pork sausage and, and that's breath for sausage and some good old thick grits. Look, it'll make you slap your mama, right? You take them some of that good old deer sausage or a good deer roast and put some good old type grits that your grandmother cooked. Look, you ain't got to worry about him. He gonna look out for you, right? So yes, so you have to become the you. you it's you. You're building a brand. You're building a company, and so you you can't do all that other stuff tied up in a truck. Thank you, Justin, for that. Because uh, man, it's just good to see another guy on here that 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 that's that's been there and doing that. Yeah, this is said, David Nick Country. How much do your drivers make after tax in Connecticut? We're pulling about fourteen hundred ten hour days. Six days a week, 25% of what the trucks make. All right, so you're doing percentage, right? So my guys pretty much go by the hour. We're paying pretty much on average about $19, $20 an hour here. My guys are pulling down, of course, you know, cost of living in Louisiana is not as high as Connecticut, but my guys are still making anywhere right now between $800 and $1,100 a week. $800 and $1,100 a week. Bring home right now. They're making money. Or should I say for Louisiana, that's good money. Let me say it that way. What's up, Mitch Smith? Appreciate you for that sticker. Country, I've got a DPF filter clog and replace or have it clean. What you got for me, sir? I need some knowledge. Well, Mitch, I'm glad you, you have said that. Uh, if you have never had that filter clean, then it's probably uh, time to get that canister cleaned out. I had to get it done on my uh, one of my trucks. Uh, that soot had got built up in there, and it was throwing uh, that code, uh, that sensor in the truck. And uh, Mac dealership, they I ha they have to outsource it. They'll take it out, but they have to send it to somewhere else, you know, local to get it cleaned and uh, got it back in. No problem. So, yes, definitely. I will start with uh, getting it clean, getting that filter clean. And uh, at some point, uh, you may have to look at even replacing it. So uh, I know clear cleaning that first time they'll clean it. You can get it clean. But then if it keeps on and that's the problem, then I would just replace the whole thing. So easy fix. And I've had that problem. So mind clogging and getting cleaned solved it for me. All right. So Mitch, appreciate you, man. Look, so on that sticker. All right. Let me get my little spill. Why Mitch, Mitch, I ain't bring it up, y'all. Mitch brought it up. If you want to uh, sew a sticker or a super chat into the channel tonight, you can do so as well. All right. By hitting that dollar sign button at the bottom. Also, let me paste uh, the join button. If you want to become a channel member tonight, like Victoria has done earlier, you can do it. That's the link. You can do it as well. We appreciate all of our channel members. You don't have to do it. But thank God for those of you who decided that you would. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Look, we got 50 people on right now. Look, y'all hit those likes. Those of you who are just coming in, uh, you may have been just making it in, got the notification. Hit that like button as you come on tonight. A1 says 1099 drivers pay their own tax. You are correct. They uh, Whatever they make, they get the whole thing. End of the year, give them a 1099, and they are responsible for their own taxes. All right. All right. G says, no, he bought the truck from Texas and never got plates. Is that illegal? If he's not, well, first of all, if he's in Texas now, well, let me say this. Uh, get a little bit more information. So G, is it an apportion tag? That would be my first question, which means he can, and if he's a portion for Texas, then he can work in Texas, all right? Uh, but if he's moved permanently to Texas and still running off another tag, then I don't think he can do that. That's not, that's, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to get your tag for that state because think about it. When you move, if you move to another state yourself, it's your responsibility to take that other state tag, turn it in and in, in, in your other state and then get the tag for that state. That's just for a regular vehicle. So I got to believe for a commercial vehicle that if that's become your residence, then you have a personal responsibility either by law or an expectation there to to get the tag in that in that in that state, man. Some guy do it. They, they'll do anything. So uh, uh, give me a little feedback, G719, if that's what you're talking about. d learn just like those POV videos you did a while back. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't drive trucks anymore. A lot of people ask me to go back out there, but I just don't have the time. Yeah. Yeah, no way you can do it. 
All right, just Spencer Hood, appreciate you, man. Uh, chiming in with a super uh, sticker tonight, appreciate you. Uh, super chat rather, and uh, someone into the channel tonight, man, it's much appreciated. Uh, and the country CEO definitely received that from the bottom of our heart, man. All right, tech time, appreciate you, man. Someone on a sticker tonight, man, chiming in. I hope we answer your question, tech time. Definitely, you better go get you some more quotes. Don't you go pay no 56,000 for no insurance, right? No four five thousand, man. That's your part of your profit. So look, we appreciate you. Uh, someone to see it into the channel tonight as well. Uh, I was talking about old folks who come from the heart, reach the heart, man. I appreciate that. Uh, look like we got some new folks on. Hit that like button as you come in. Hit that like button as you come in tonight. All right, who else I got on here? All right, he's in a different state, driving a truck with no plate. That's pretty much yeah, exactly. He in Colorado takes the plate. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's crazy. It's just a matter of time, G. He's going to get stopped, and it's going to be hell to pay. What's up, Crit? He just showed up. Crit just showed up on the chatter tonight, man. Appreciate you, Doc. Show it up, all right? Tonight, chiming in, man. We got good discussion going on. Crit, Justin Sturger is on tonight, has a YouTube channel about trucking and some other, other things. And so we welcome his expertise tonight to the channel. All right, and so uh, that that's who he is. If you're not a subscriber, go check out his channel as well, uh, Justin uh, Crit Justin Sturgeon Truck. If you have a portion tag, and that's okay, but if you like a Texas state, but it's not a portion, no, yeah. All right. All right. SR Nightmare, what's up? That's it, man. What's up, you too? That's it, man. Y'all look, look like the later it get, the more coming on, right? Y'all hit that like button as you come in tonight. Hit that like button as you come in tonight. All right, just the look, just the dump look, man. Justin showed up tonight, and I I titled this video "Dump Truck Roundup." Mm -hmm. So a roundup is when everybody just kind of gets together and it up. So man, Justin showed up tonight, just kind of made the word "roundup" come to fruition, and so I sure appreciate that tonight. Mm -hmm. All right, Isaiah says, "Do we need to have a CB radio in the truck?" For sure. For sure. That's that's what we communicate by Isaiah uh, CB. That's what you know. You go to most of the if you go to the asphalt plant, they're on the CB. If you go to the limestone yard, they own the CB. The loader man on these jobs and loading the truck, whether it's front end loader or track hole, he owned the CB. You will need a CB. Now, just in case your next question is, well, what's a good CB? If you just want to get something basic, hey, man, go get the 29 LTD classic by Cobra. It'll get the job done. Now, if you want to hog, hot dog it a little bit, look, go get that old General Lee, right? Yeah, it give you a little bit more bells and hustle. But definitely, you're going to need a CB. You, because, you know, that's that's just how we communicate in the dump truck business. Uh, Nick says the connection, the most money right now is in hauling garbage and dirty, dirty dirt across state lines, garbage to Pennsylvania and dirty dirt to Ohio. <laughs> oh, man. So that's where the most money is being made at, right? And I notice you use the adjective dirty to describe dirt. So when you say dirty, are you meaning a certain kind of dirt or dirty as in meaning illegal? Help me out there. Ethan, thanks, Justin. You've added some great info on your channel. It's pure game. Yes, sir. It definitely is, Ethan. Hey, Craig, Nick Monaco uh, with dumb trailers and walking with walking floor trailers. Okay. Yeah, so nice to see you, man. Just want to say if I found out about the app trucks and been finding jobs up to $115 an hour, man. Look, I salute you. Uh, Justin, a few uh, uh, streams ago, we uh, were introduced. Well, we have been hearing about it, but I have been getting confirmation that folks are using the trucks apps, trucks app. For those of you who are new tonight, the trucks app, T-U-R-U-X, I'm sorry, T-R-U-X, there are Vulcan and a, cert, uh, a lot of other companies that are using the trucks app to find work. Justin, I downloaded that app, man, here in Louisiana. They figure I'm like, I ain't never heard of nobody even using that in Louisiana. Guess what? I started getting text messages of companies that are using the app in Louisiana. Shock me, man, because that, that just ain't how we have operated here. And so definitely I'm glad to see SR Nightmare let us know that he's found jobs $115 an hour on the trucks app. Man, that's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. All right, who else we got here? Justin, uh, I like the striker. Okay, striker CB. I might have to look that up. Justin, I ain't never heard of that one. Striker. 
I've always seen that that General Lee and uh, uh, that other one I used to see in the pilot truck stuff. I got to, I forgot the name of that one. Uh, what's up, Evan? He say hazmat. Uh, give me a little more, uh, Evan. Uh, okay, y'all talking about that uh, dirty dirt is contaminated. There. I care, I got gotcha. you from the old factory we used to have over here. It has certain chemicals in it, it comes from demolition control. Yeah, contaminated dirt. I got you. I got you. All right, yeah, that should make money. Is is uh, is that that's considered a hazmat load? I believe that's must be what Evan mean by hazmat. Because, yeah, if it's got chemicals in it, even here, if it's got all in it, it's considered contaminated. So, yeah, we got, we got 59 on you tonight. Got some more coming in. Hector and all you guys, if you would, hit that like button for me tonight. Hit that like button for me tonight. Jaron, the Vulcan in Tennessee, only uses that. So, the, yeah, see, Jaron. Uh, Jaron, that must be the thing then with Vulcan because uh, some of my folks on Virginia, that's who I'm missing tonight. A lot of other my Virginia folk. Janita and all those guys, um, they use the truck app with the Vulcan in uh, Virginia, and that's how they get a lot of their work. So, yeah, it's becoming to be a popular thing, man. Folks using technology now. Justin, what do you think about that, about how technology now is beginning to play a part in how work is being found and not only found, but actually dispatched, right? Right. You've been in here seven years. So you 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 go back at least far enough. We're used to phone communication, but now we're texting work and getting texts on dispatch. The company I work for now, they email us our dispatch every day. So uh, what are you, what are your thoughts on that, Justin? Hector, hey, CEO, I got to save some more money to get my own truck. OK, but no lie. Sometimes I get a little scared. Things won't go my way. Can you tell me my words of encouragement? Hector. Um, faith over fear, my man. You know, I'm a pastor, so I, I definitely always got some word for you. And that is you got to don't let your fear overcome your faith. Matter of fact, the Bible says uh, God did not give us a, a spirit of love, power and what a sound mind. All right. Fear, a, a good fear is false evidence appearing real. Right. And you can literally psych yourself out uh, by being afraid of not succeeding. Right. Uh, an old saying we got here in Louisiana, nothing beats a failure but a try, right? You'll never know if you can make it if you don't try to make it. Who did you get that? You'll never know if you can make it unless you try to make it, right? And so you have to be able to, uh, your words are powerful, speak positivity, you know, uh, that you can make it. You're going to do this and pray and put trust in God's hands, man, and treat people right and do the right thing. I know you can make it, right? But you got to believe that yourself. You got to believe in you. Get around positive people, positive family members, and have a good support system, man, and you can make it, right? So so you got to step out. You got to look. I'm, I'm, I did a video on my Facebook page the other day that faith is, is taking the next step on the staircase even though you can't see it. Did you get that? I'm dragging nuggets now. Look, faith is is taking the next step on the staircase. You're, you're, you're climbing. You're trying to move on the staircase, right? And you're climbing up, but you can't see the next step. So it takes faith to know that the next step is there, right? Dump truck business stepping out is just like that. 21 years ago, this this 20, I was a 27 year old um, newlywed man and, and, and with a child that I had to take care of, not knowing how it's going to go, right, Hector? But I say, you know what? I'm young. <laughs> I'm going to step out here. Or, and even if I wasn't young, if I did all my due diligence and research and looked at it and seen how it is, I stepped out there, man, and say, look, I'm, I'm going for it. Right. And watch this, Hector. You are coming in at a time now where it's triple, quadruple the work and opportunity out here now than it was in the year of 2000 when I started, man. So, look, so you got to speak it and stay positive. And I'm going to leave it with this, Hector. You got to see it before you see it. That's a nugget right there. You got to see it before you see it, right? I mean, you got to visualize that thing. You got to have a vision for it. You got to speak it. And that'll keep you positive, man. I hope that helps. You know, you pulling out the preacher in tonight. All right, Justin, in Cincinnati, they don't really use that. I've been on it for a while, but I've never got any loads off it, okay? Yeah, I actually get some texts off of it, Justin. Here in Tennessee, trucks is what rules. Wow. That's what, yeah, that's, that's it, man. That's where it's going in some places, uh, Especially if you got a lot of Vulcan choirs, it seems to be the thing. 
Uh, Jaron said they have tons of work. You just have to stick with them when the times get slow. And if you do, they'll run you. OK, yeah. And you, you got to got to build yourself up in, into a, a particular place. Right. I like the email style of dispatch. I think it's a lot easier than me having to write all of it down and then tell the drive. Yeah. Justin, my company emails us and it's right there, man. I'm going to have to show you all that just to show you all how that that works. I think that's a good video idea right there. I'm about to show you all that. I'm going to show you all that. Uh, and I, it's excellent. Just, it works good. Where you're going, what you ain't got to be there. The link, they give you a, a, a Google link to the dump, the, the load site. Or should I need to tell you what plan is out of? Then you're going to give you a link, Google link to uh, Google Maps link to the dump site. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Who your foreman is, his contact number. It's a beautiful thing. I'm going to do a video on that, Justin. Thank you, man. It's a video idea. Because we are getting into a time now of different avenues of, of, of how work is, is, is found and or uh, communicated to the truckers. So that, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do that, man. That's a good idea. Kendrick Campbell, can we get the exact name for the trucks app? That's it, Kendrick. You got it. Trucks app. <laughs> just go in Google Play Store or uh, Apple Store. And uh, it's that's just what it is. Type in T-U-R-T-U-X, man. And it's right there. T-R-U-X. I'm sorry. And it's right there. Okay, you said it's got a couple with similar names. Okay, let me see. I know I, I downloaded it. Kendrick Campbell, there you go. All right, just let me know you got it, Kendrick. All right. Yeah, crit, don't let that fear block the front door to the bank. <laughs> that's right. Sounds like he worked for a company that's controlled by a big company named Colos, okay. It's just called truck, Justin. I'm... Yeah, appreciate you, Justin. J Justin, going to bed, man. Look, salute to you, brother. Definitely follow your channel, guys. Go follow Justin Sturgill Trucking. Wealth of information, uh, Justin. If I ever am in the Cincinnati area, man, go come check you out. Uh, check your operation out, man. Uh, uh, definitely uh, love to see people doing good, doing well in this dump truck business, man. You're definitely uh, doing well. God is blessing you. So definitely salute you for coming on tonight. You have definitely helped to enhance this live and make it rich, 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 man. So don't be a stranger. And, man, I'm a, I set my notifications for you too, Justin, so I can follow you, man, when you go live and you got your streams and stuff going. So I appreciate you, brother. All right. Spencer, where you at in Georgia, brother? Had you checked out my videos? I, was, I did live. Went, I went live from Atlanta uh like the other weekend and then i got um i got uh some game coming on how to find the work in that in uh georgia some cities in georgia and counties in georgia coming up uh probably next week i believe all right what part of georgia you in spencer got a whole bunch of people from atlanta area and in georgia on the channel man See, I know a guy moving dirt on site back and forth. He is making $4,000 a week. I can believe it. He wants to offer to buy a truck, and I work it. And once I pay it off, I can own it. That's a good idea. All right. So Ben says, okay, he wants to offer for you to buy a truck, and you work it. And once I pay it off, I own it. Yeah. Uh, ben, just get it in writing. You can go to a lawyer and just get a, a promissory note uh, agreement wrote up that, you you know, this is agreement between the two parties. And he's agreed that, it, you know, you're going to pay him a certain this amount of money every month. And and at the end of this term, you know, turn the title over to you, all that kind of stuff. Uh, definitely. You don't want to, you know, play around with that kind of stuff. Get it done legally, uh, drawn up by a lawyer to protect yourself. But, yeah, I've seen I've had seen some guys, a couple of guys do that. So that's not a bad way to enter. You know, that's 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 a blessing. You know, everybody own up and up and do the right thing. Then, yeah, it could be a blessing for you, man.
All right, Mario Crumpler, appreciate you, man, with the uh, super sticker tonight, brother. I appreciate you sewing into the channel tonight, man, participating. Hope you got some value and some game tonight from these guys. This is just a wonderful good group tonight. Yeah, appreciate that, man. Justin, Justin was wonderful addition tonight, man, to our live. Look, it's going on two hours, man. We have chopped it up real good. Uh, I offered the opportunity one more time tonight if anybody uh, wanted to join the channel. Uh, matter of fact, we our channel members, channel members now, we're going to do uh, a Zoom session tomorrow evening. Matter of fact, I got to email y'all tomorrow morning. I'll take care of it tomorrow morning. Check your emails. I am going to. And then if you're not sure I have your email, uh, uh, send me an email so I'll make sure I got it, right? So let me give you my email again uh, so you guys can do that, okay? All right, grind and shine. All right, at Gmail. All right, so if you need to send me your email if you're a channel member now, we're going to do a Zoom session. And and for those of you who may be watching, these these the ones that you see the little green thing by their channel members, they've invested uh, – uh, resources into the channel and the value that they've gained here over the course of time. And I appreciate them. And so one of the perks of that is that I do a Zoom session with them because uh, it allows them to get more one on one time with me, be able to ask me questions, learn from each other and some coaching experience. So that's one of the perks. So um, that's there. You got the channel button if you want to join the channel, the email if you want to uh, email me with questions or something out of the blue. I will respond. And if anybody else wants to source, thank you, Shark. Shark just sold a uh, super sticker into the chat tonight. Uh, thank you uh, for that, Shark. Appreciate you. Look at RC Creations. Look who over here. <laughs> RC Creations. That's my tech guy. Uh, he's also a church member of mine, but he's my tech guy. Oh, RC Creations. Uh, I knew you were going to have some kind of funny uh, emoji. You were going to show your face, man. Appreciate you, Clay tuning in tonight um i'm gonna text you a few things when i get off of here too man yeah look jack man look you beat me to it man may definitely merry christmas to all of you so yeah i don't think i'll be doing another live before christmas but uh you never know about me right so but definitely merry christmas to all of you you have been a blessing to me look christ is the reason for the season we give we thank god for him but bless all of you man have a good christmas uh, don't do nothing I wouldn't do. All that good stuff, right? So, RC Creations once again for the super sticker. All right. Crit says, what's the channel membership info? I feel left out. Uh, uh, Crit, hit that link. Uh, if you scroll back up, I'll, I'll put it in one more time. Hit the link, Crit, and you can read. Once you go on there, you can read what it's all about, brother. We'd love to have you, man, if you want to join it. Uh, but hit that link, Crit, and it'll explain what it's all about. All right, let me get back down where I was. Okay, Spencer, I got you. LaGrange, Georgia, man. Got you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Spencer, hey, man, it's an opportunity out here, brother. You just have to make up your mind what you want to do. You desire a consultation with me, look under the Canlily app. Matter of fact, uh, if those of you who want consultation, look under the Canlily app. You can set up a consultation. Now, that's going to all be good to the end of this year. We got new format and some new things coming out, rolling out. Now, a little tech guys helping me with that. Uh, in about another week, I hope he got my stuff together. Another week or so, we're going to be rolling out some new stuff. I had a lot of you have asked for coaching. I had a lot of you have asked for consultations. I've had some people asking for courses. I've even had some people asking or wanting to fly me out to their location uh, to come and give them on hands-on coaching. Guess what? I will do that. We just need to work out the details, right? And so I'm rolling all of that out in another week or two. That's the big surprise. Uh, I'm just trying to meet the need. You know, I got some people. I know this is not for everyone. But for those of you who are desire certain, you know, got the resources and you're desiring more of my expertise and want me to come and or engage with you on Zoom, then we're going to be offering all of these things. So stay tuned. Another week or so, I'm going to be rolling some of that stuff out and just offering it for those who are interested and ready to actually roll on that level, you know. All right, who else I got? I see some more of you. 
Uh, I want to make sure I get everybody. Yes, thanks, Jess. You're giving good info. Hopefully, we can chat soon, especially since you're from Ohio. Okay, yeah, definitely. That's what it's all about, Mario. Nick, country, do you have a lawyer for your bit? Yes, I do, Nick. I got a local lawyer here who advises me in any kind of legal matters that I need. Definitely get your lawyer. You don't have to get one on retainer, but you definitely want someone that you can have questions for about your business. I can call my guy. I ain't got to go pay him a fee. If I got a question, he'll call me back and I advise me. All right. Much love and respect. Appreciate you, Shaw. Kendrick Campbell started this dump truck business soon. Thinking of using fellow firefighters from the fire department for drivers. OK. And the double dip. I like that. Boy, boy, I like that, man. Kendrick, that's game, man. I never thought of that. Local firefighters. See, I'm in the country, so our firefighters couldn't do it. But in the city, yeah, those firefighters got those CDLs driving those fire trucks, man. That's a source or a resource for CDLB drivers, man. Kendrick, thank you, brother. You just laid a nugget on the CEO tonight with that one, man. Whoa. Man, that's a video idea there, man. My old memory ain't like it used to be. Shoot, I need to write that down with something there, man. Shoot. Good grief. You messed me up, Kendrick. Look, I'm supposed to mess you up with the information. You done messed me up with that one. Shucks. Clay, remember that. RC Creation. Remember what that young man said about firefighters to help with the double dip. Remember that, Clay. Write that down. Matter of fact, Clay, text that to me, man. Text that what he just got about using firefighters for night work. Or just for extra work because they may work one night and be off due day. Yep. Clean driving record, everything. Dude, that is a gem right there, Kendrick. Yeah, I, I look, I've just told you my thoughts. Man, that is golden right there, bro. That's gold. Man, Clay, write that down and text that to me. So I won't remember that. I got to do a video on that, Kendrick. Thank you, bro. I got to do a video on that, man. What's up to one? Merry Christmas to you, Mo Jazzin. Times are changing. A friend of mine, father was a dump truck in the 70s. She could not believe we still write tickets by hand and use CB radios. <laughs> yeah, that's old school right there, right? But you still got to be able to communicate some kind of way, right? Yeah, what's up, man? What's up with you? Glad to have you. Everyone have a safe holiday. Appreciate you, Mo Jazzin. Ricky Jordan, what's up with you? Got me out here wanting to buy my own truck. Ricky Jordan is on and popping, brothers. All I can tell you, dump truck business is on. Hey, check the channel out. Surf, binge watch the channel, man. We got all the game, man. I, we, we, we ain't about leading nobody wrong. We're giving it to you straight. No chaser. Pure. Unadulterated. Uncut. Dumb truck game over here, man. For sure. A1 trucking. FYI, Louisiana gives a tax break for hiring a felon. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that, man. I didn't know that. I did not know that. I appreciate that. Let me know that. Okay. Okay. That's cool. I know they are not required to have a CDL. CDL. Okay. I got you on that. All right. Kendrick. Yes, sir. Okay. RC. Appreciate you, Clay. Okay. All right. Look, guys, we're going to land the plane. We had almost two hours tonight. We're going to land the plane. It just got good to us, you know? So we're going to land the plane right here. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Time to get some nourishment. Look, I wish all of you a Merry Christmas. Definitely still be chatting with you through the community tab. Uh, channel members, again, look forward to talking with you on tomorrow evening at 5. I think it's at 4 or 5. I look at my what I put in the group chat on the tab. But I wish all of you a Merry Christmas to you and yours. Land in the plane. See you all. Signing off. Have a good night. We love you. Bless you. Thank you for what you did tonight in your input and also sewing into the channel. Country CEO, we out of here. I'm gone.